Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at my dinosaurs that start with the letter G. Remember to stay on for the fun ending today. See how many of these dinosaurs you know. Let's take a closer look now. This is Giganotosaurus. It walked on two legs and could move quite well. Its slim pointed tail may have helped it to make quick turns as well as acting as a counterbalance. It may have been able to run at speeds up to 31 miles or 50 kilometers an hour. Giganotosaurus had the capability of killing live prey and may have scavenged for food as well. This is Griposaurus. It lived during the late Cretaceous period. It could grow to 30 feet in length. Its name means curvy nose, referring to the narrow arching nasal hump. Griposaurus was a typical hadrosaur, which means duck-billed dinosaur. The bill is toothless, although there were teeth further back. Gastonia lived in the early Cretaceous period. It is a genus of herbivorous and chylosaurian dinosaur from the north of America. It had a flat and very broad rump, the belly strongly protruding between the short powerful limbs. The tail was moderately long and lacked a tail club. The neck was relatively long and the skull probably rather small. The vertical spikes on the body would have given good protection and it could defend itself by swinging its flexible spiked tail. Notice the small horns at the rear skull corners and cheeks. The beak is toothless. Gastonia was protected by osteoderms. Gigantoraptor lived in the late Cretaceous period. It is the second largest feathered dinosaur, Euteranus being the largest. Its skull was long with a horny toothless beak. It had long hind legs and large claws and would have been fast enough to outrun most predators. Its feathers were for display. Its feet didn't have the usual raptor claw. It grew to about 8 meters or 25 feet long. Scientists are not sure whether it was a herbivore or omnivore. Guan Long lived in the late Jurassic period in the woodlands of Asia. Its name means crown dragon, referring to the crest on its head, and it may have had primitive feathers. It walked on two legs and had three long digits on each hand. It was a meat eater and grew to 10 feet or 3 meters long. This is my Giganotosaurus mini. Giganotosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It had a massive skull and a long tail to counterbalance its massive head. This is Gariel. Gariel lived during the late Cretaceous period. It had a long narrow snout. There is a bulbous growth on the tip of the male snout. The reduced weight and water resistance of their lighter skull and very narrow jaw enables gharials to catch rapidly moving fish by snapping their jaws in a side to side snapping motion and using their razor sharp needle like teeth to impale the struggling slippery fish.
Giganotosaurus. It's one of the largest theropods, bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex and Carcharodontosaurus, but not as large as Spinosaurus. Tyrannosaurus outweighed Giganotosaurus because of the extra muscle mass, but Giganotosaurus is slightly longer. Giganotosaurus could grow to 43 feet or 13 metres long, weighing around 8 tonnes and stood 12 feet tall at the hips. It walked on two legs and had enormous jaws in a 5.2 foot or 1.6 metre long skull. It had 8 inch or 19 centimetre long serrated teeth. These dagger-like teeth with their serrated edges could slice through flesh like a saw. Giganotosaurus had three fingered hands with sharp claws, long legs and clawed feet. Its jaws were large enough to swallow an adult human whole. It was a descendant of Allosaurus from the Jurassic period. It was one of the biggest known members of the Carnosaur genus and one of the biggest known theropods of all time. Giganotosaurus had fairly long and strong arms with three clawed fingers and powerful back legs with three sharp claws on their toes. The skull is long and slender with corrugated areas on the edges of the snout top and above the eye. Gastonus it's a prehistoric bird that lived in the Eocene about 50 million years ago. It was a giant of its time, one of the largest animals at 2 metres or 6.5 feet tall. It is thought to have been a predator because its huge hooked beak would have been far too powerful for simply crushing nuts and other vegetation. It also had sharp claws on its toes. Its size and heavy build shows that it can't have been a fast runner, so it probably ambushed prey. Don't forget the fun ending. Thank you for watching my video. Stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Please remember to subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, Click the picture.